Have you used artificial intelligence to learn English? Do you know what ChatGPT is? You can ask ChatGPT many things and this AI tool explores all the information and it answers you within seconds. It is great for teachers and students, but as any tool, you have to learn how to use it for your own advantage. So watch this video and bear with me. That is, be patient with me. ChatGPT is one of the most trending topics right now. It's been less than a week since its release and people's minds are being blown with what it can do. In this video, we will explore an artificial intelligence chatbot, ChatGPT, to learn English with the movie Enola Holmes. Dare I ask? I am Miss Carolina. Check out my other videos with Iwa and learn English in a fun way with songs, TV series, and movies. You can also look into my YouTube channel, English With Us. All info in the description. By the way, did you know that neither Sherlock Holmes nor Enola Holmes are real characters? They are fictional characters. The first one, Sherlock, created by British author Arthur Conan Doyle, and the latter, Enola Holmes, written by American author Nancy Springer. Why Enola Holmes? Because it is a story with a strong female protagonist, and it resonates with the ideas of feminism, independence, social justice, and education. Educate me as to why. Because you don't know what it is to be without power. Also, because I love Millie Bobby Brown and I really applaud the way that the movie breaks the fourth wall. That is when a character speaks directly to the audience like I do with you. Which leads me on to the second thing you need to know. I'm presently on the way to collect my brother. Yes, Sherlock Holmes, the famous detective, my genius brother. Breaking the fourth wall in the Enola Holmes film helps to give the character a comedic style by allowing her to engage directly with us, the audience, share humorous observations and undercut the seriousness of the story. The game has found its feet again. Oh, and another thing, I love the modern pop-up art feel of the movie because it makes it dynamic and fun. ChatGPT defines pop-up art as an art form that involves creating three-dimensional works that seem to magically appear or pop up out of a two-dimensional surface. She was not an ordinary mother. Now let's ask ChatGPT some other questions. As the Holmes, Enola and Sherlock would say, the game is afoot. That is, we are going to begin because we are ready. The game is afoot. So I asked ChatGPT, can you tell me the narrative of Enola Holmes as if you had to explain it to a kid? ChatGPT answered, Enola Holmes is a movie about a brave and clever girl named Enola who is trying to find her missing mother. Enola's mother is very special because she taught Enola many things like how to fight and how to be independent. When her mother disappears, Enola set out to find her, but she discovers that her mother left her a hidden message and a mystery to solve. We can see basic vocabulary is used in this A2 level narrative, like brave and clever girl, and also verbs in the present simple, disappears, the present progressive, is trying, or the simple past, taught. Very good, chat GPT. And it's true, Enola's mother leaves her a hidden message. My end up. Chrysanthemums. My chrysanthemums. And Enola herself says, My mother is rather a fan of word games. The word rather here indicates that Enola's mother is not just a fan of word games, but has an enthusiastic interest in them. Which is probably why the name Enola reads alone, backwards. My mother named me Enola. 
which backwards spells alone. Can you tell me the narrative of Enola Holmes for a C1 level of English? ChatGPT answered. Enola Holmes is a gripping tale of a young woman's journey to uncover the truth about her mother's disappearance. Enola is the younger sister of the famous detective, Sherlock Holmes, and she is every bit as clever and resourceful as her brother. When her mother goes missing, Enola sets out on a quest to find her. Using her keen intellect, physical abilities, and determination to navigate the challenges that come her way. As Enola searches for her mother, she encounters a young nobleman named Twixbury, who is also on the run from some very dangerous people. Who are you? What are you? I'm Viscount Tewkesbury, the Marquis of Baselweather. You're an incomplete. Along the way, Enola must also deal with the disapproval of her brothers, Sherlock and Mycroft, who do not understand her unconventional ways. I want you to be happy. No. You want you to be happy. You want me controlled. This narrative of the story has more advanced vocabulary like gripping, which means exciting, resourceful, which means having the ability to find quick and clever ways to overcome difficulties, or keen, which is having or showing eagerness or enthusiasm. It also has sentences with modal verbs like must deal with, to take action to do something, especially to solve a problem, and expressions like to be on the run, to be trying to avoid being caught, especially by the police. After you. Oh, no! Oh! Oh, God! Come back here! Who's he? Didn't you get a ring? Shut up, you! Now, ChatGPT is still learning, and it makes mistakes. So when I asked about adjectives used in the movie Enola Holmes, he gave me a lot of adjectives like intrepid, fearless, lugubrious, sad, furtive, secretive, inscrutable, or churlish, rude. But guess what? They don't say any of these in the movie. Yes, all of these adjectives are related to Enola Holmes and they appear in the book or in reviews written about the book or the movie. But they are not spoken in the movie. Oh, I was so furious, mad, upset. Very angry. Yes, very angry. I checked the movie again and again and again, and I found other adjectives that we can learn looking at their synonyms, like proficient, very capable. Mother says I'm getting quite proficient. Delightful, very charming. A motor car, how delightful, Miss Harrison. Preposterous, very absurd. I won't enjoy being imprisoned in those preposterous clothes. Obnoxious, very repulsive. He was father, obnoxious sort. Devious, very dishonest. So I need to make it most devious. Seditious, very rebellious. To browse your seditious, dangerous, and extremely banned bookshelves. Well, I didn't give up on ChatGPT. Instead, I learned how to make better questions. I asked more specific questions like, what does Enola mean when she uses the word Nincompoop. I love that word, by the way. ChatGPT says, Enola Holmes uses several insults throughout the movie, most of which are mild and not too offensive. She uses the word nincompoop as a derogatory term to describe someone who is foolish, stupid, or incompetent. It is a playful insult that is often used in a lighthearted and humorous manner. You're an nincompoop. Enola also employs other playful insults to refer to Twixbury, like foolish, which means silly, and utterly ridiculous, which means really, really, really ridiculous. And proud and utterly ridiculous. 
At one point, she even uses his noble titles, Viscount and Marquess, to refer to him in a funny way. She calls him Viscount Irritation, Marquess of Bothersome Shit. This constant fighting between Enola and Twixbury is just another way of showing us that opposites attract. I'll never let you go again. But wait! I found other interesting expressions and a tongue twister in the movie that ChatGPT explained to me. Poppycock. It's a noun that means nonsense or foolishness. Shall trust me. Poppycock. To, to have poise. A person who has poise is often seen as graceful, confident, and in control of their emotions and behavior. Although Mycroft thinks his sister Enola is a silly girl. We didn't send for you, silly girl. We sent for the carriage. Lestrade, Scotland Yard's detective, believes Enola is very intelligent and has poise. This was a woman of extreme poise. I don't give a fig. Enola says I don't give a fig about flowers. These idioms means I don't care or it's of no importance to me. The phrase has been in use since the 16th century. The word fig is used as a polite substitute of a more vulgar word that starts with the letter F. You know what I mean, right? I don't give a f And here goes the tongue twister. What whim led White Whitney to whittle? Which really means, why did Whitney suddenly decide to carve wood without planning it? Yes, whittle means to carve wood. It is a silly sentence, but you know, tongue twisters are just meant for you to practice good diction in good fun. This tongue twister was taught to Enola when she was in the school for young ladies, where she was supposed to act and do what she was told. Act, think, be as we tell you, and you'll become acceptable wives and responsible mothers. Can you use ChatGPT to learn English? Just remember, it is not human, because when I asked, can you give me your opinion and critique of the movie Enola Holmes, ChatGPT answered, as an AI language model, I do not have emotions or feelings. I do not have personal opinions or beliefs. As you can see, ChatGPT gave me a lot of information, but I had to formulate the right questions, classify the data, and decide how I wanted the script for this video. I am an educator, Mr. Holmes. I like to keep ahead of the times. Is ChatGPT going to substitute teachers? I don't think so. Though it certainly provides new ways to teach and learn. I suppose this is game. We are done. I suppose that's game. Cheers.